Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, we're going to learn how to create and modify presets inside On One Photo Raw 2020. So let's jump right in and get started. So now I'm inside of On One Photo Raw here. And to get started creating and modifying presets, let's just first learn how to apply a preset and then fade it with the fade slider. So inside On One Photo Raw, you can apply a preset inside of the Browse module as well as the Edit module. So if you're inside of the Browse module and you want to apply a style to an image quickly, just select a photograph. I'll just make this thumbnail a bit bigger here. And then I'll head over here to the left side of Photo Raw and I'm going to select the Presets tab here. Now if I arrow back to my categories, I have all of these different preset styles that I can modify my image with. One of my favorites here is this Golden Autumn category. It has a lot of awesome warm styles that you can apply to your images. And if I want to see larger thumbnail previews than what I have over here, I can just head up here to this icon right there. I'll just select that. And now I have these larger thumbnail previews. I can also modify the thumbnail preview by heading down to this area. And I can just tap these, or I can just use this slider and make the thumbnails smaller. So I really like this G3, so I'm just gonna add this G3 onto my shot. And there we go, it's applied a style to my photo quickly. So that's how you would apply a preset inside of the Browse module. Now, the other way you can apply a preset is within the Edit module. So I'm just gonna reset this image, and then I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard to head into my Develop tab in the Edit module. So now we're inside of the Edit module here, and to apply a preset to my photograph, I'm going to head over to the left side of my screen at the bottom and I'm going to select this icon there. That's going to open up my preset drawer. Now I can arrow back into my categories again. And now let's find a nice black and white to add to this photograph. So I'll just go in here to black and white modern. I'll make those thumbnails larger by clicking on this icon. And I really like this one, this sepia tone looking black and white. So I'll just grab this shot here. So now I can see that I've applied a style to my photograph. And if I head into my effects tab, I can see that it's added these two filters, this black and white filter with these different modifications and this glow filter with these different modifications. Now if I don't want the entire preset applied to my photograph, I can head back over to my presets and I can go over to that preset that I applied, that B11, and then I'll just drag this fade slider back and I can remove a bit of that style that I applied with that preset. So that's how you would apply a preset inside of the browse and edit modules. But let's go in and create our own presets and update current ones that we want to modify. So for this photo, I'm just going to reset all of the settings that I have applied to it. And then I'm going to hide this preset drawer for now so that I can see my photograph when I'm editing it. And for this photograph, let's just head into our develop tab first. And let's just choose this AI auto button. That's just going to automatically develop some of these settings within the photograph for me. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, it's just modified some of these tones in here and set a foundational look. I'm just going to head over to my contrast slider and I'm going to pull that up a bit more. And then I'm going to pull up on my mid-tones just a hair. Just like that. Then I'm going to head up to my effects tab. I'm going to add a filter. And I'll just add one of my favorite filters, this LUTs filter. And inside the LUTs filter, I'm going to go to my More Styles. I'll just hover over some of these ones, and I'll pick a favorite. I should really like this Pyro one here. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we've created a nice black and white style. So if we want to save this style as a preset, we can do it in a couple ways. 
The fastest way is just to head up to this icon right here, right in your effects tab, and you can just select this, and you can pull up your save preset menu. Or you can head up to your top bar, you can choose settings, and you can choose save settings as a preset. And now you have your save preset dialog. So for the preset name, I'm just going to name it black and white landscape. Then I'll head into this option here, and this is where I can add new categories for my presets. So I'll just add a new category, and I'll add fave landscape presets. So I have my black and white landscape, and I've added it to this new favorite landscape presets. Well, in this, when I'm saving a preset, if I've modified any of these settings in here, I can choose to either add them in or remove them from the preset. So in here in our develop tab, if I roll this open with this arrow, I can see that I have all of these different options selected. Well, if I roll this color and tone arrow open, I can see that I have all of these different options highlighted as well. So I'm just going to choose this button right here, and that's going to disable all of these options. And the only one I want for this is this auto tone just so it can automatically develop my image's exposure and tonality for me. Then I'll head down and I'll go into my effects tab here. And if I roll this open, if I've added any masks into my effects, I can make sure that those are applied as well. But since I didn't mask anything with my effects, I'm just gonna make sure that I have effects selected so that it adds on that black and white LUT that we chose. So now that I have my settings chosen, I'm just going to hit save. Then if I open up my preset drawer and I go back into my categories and I access my fave landscape presets category, I have that black and white landscape preset there. But now let's say we want to update this preset and we want it to tone down our sky area for when we have bright backgrounds on our images. Well, let's just make a couple adjustments here. Let's go into our local adjustments tab. And with my new local adjustment layer, I'm gonna hold down shift and K on my keyboard to grab my adjustable gradient tool. Then I'm gonna head up to my preset and I'm going to apply it with linear bottom, which means it's going to apply it to the top of my image. So I'll just drop this down on my horizon line I'll move it up a little bit, and then I'll just feather the mask with this perforated edge. And if I head over to my local adjustment and I turn it off and on, it does a really awesome job of toning down that sky, but it also covers up this building here. So let's head over to our local adjustment. I'm gonna use this gear icon here to go into the blending options. And then I'm gonna go down to these three sliders right here. Now these three sliders are going to allow me to protect these tonalities from this adjustment. So I'm going to pull up all the way on my shadow tones so that all my shadow tones are protected. And then I'm just going to pull up a little bit on the skin tone, which is the middle grays within my image. So if I pull up on that, you can see it just removes that local adjustment from the top of that roof. So if I double click it to turn it off, it applies that back to the roof. But if I pull up on this, just until it modifies the sky, it does a good job of just applying that adjustment to the sky area and not my foreground building here. So now let's say we want to update a preset rather than just saving a new one. So let's head over to our presets. I'm just going to right click my preset and I'm going to choose update preset with current settings. Now I can choose which modifications that I want to update in this preset. Now I need to have my develop enabled here because that's going to bring all of those auto tone adjustments. I also need my effects here modified and enabled right there, but I don't need apply masks because I don't have any masks applied with any filters. But inside my local adjustments, because we did apply that mask to our sky area background, I do need to select apply masks here that will take that mask into the preset whenever it's applied to an image. So now I'll just choose Update. 
So now if I want to apply this preset to another image, I can just hit F on my keyboard to pull up my film strip view mode. I'll grab this image. And now if I click on that black and white landscape preset, I can see it's using all of the same modifications as it did before. And if I go into my local adjustment here and I click on my mask view, I can see it's using that local adjustment layer to darken the sky area. Just like it did on the previous photo. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a bit about creating and modifying presets so that you can apply them to your images whenever you open up On One Photo Raw. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated whenever we drop new content and new videos. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and have a great weekend.